Welcome to In Touch Crime Beat. I'm Officer Don with Fayette Commonwealth Attorney Ray Larson. Out of jail, okay? Don't mess up. And those are the people, those repeat offenders, the ones that go to prison. And I say we're the number one rated radio show in the whole country. Officer Don, this is Fayette Crime Beat with Officer Don and Fayette Commonwealth Attorney Ray Larson. Uh, Ray, we're, we're watching your website here, LexingtonProsecutor.com. I think that's where a lot of people are getting their news these days. Just go straight to the source. Wouldn't you agree? What do you get, about 50 million hits on that a week now? No, but I get a lot more hits than most websites get. Okay. It's very interesting because we've got, we're trying to get a message out from our office. And the message is, if you break the law, you should suffer consequences. Mm -hmm. You gotta, People have to be responsible for their criminal behavior. That's the message. Now, you can't get the message out by going to, uh, by asking the newspaper to get your message out, <clears throat> because they got their own agendas working, and their agenda is mine. Uh, you can't go to TV stations and ask them to help you get your message out. Why? Because they got, they got a minute and a half, and they're not interested in being a PR operation for me <laughs> so um, well let, let's so what we do is we created a web page that basically is our own news source criminal justice news source and that's all it talks about and it's um, we got a lot of hits on it and but guess what if you if people think about how they deal with uh, sites they visit, it's probably the same people most every day. Well, that's interesting because you have your site, but there are a lot of the 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 World Wide Web is giving a lot of people an opportunity to have a voice. Even people who maybe well really shouldn't have a voice because they were sentenced <laughs> to death ten years ago and, and they haven't right. been executed yet. But Ralph Mays is is an example. I actually <clears throat> saw WKYT cover this uh, this past week. Mm -hmm. uh, Ralph Mays. Ralph Mays killed a sheriff and his son-in-law deputy. Right. So in one fell swoop in Powell County, he killed this girl's father and her husband. Right. Gunned them both down with an, I, I believe it was a, uh, an S SKS assault rifle mm -hmm. years ago. It was the first police officer funeral that I ever attended. I was a young rookie when this happened. Uh, Ralph Bays was sentenced to death, but uh, you know, he, he's not dead. Well, let me tell you a little bit more about, <clears throat> about what this bum did. What he did was shoot both of these law enforcement officers, these, the sheriff and deputy sheriff, shot them both in the back. Then he walked by the last one he shot and shot him in the back of the head just to make sure he was dead, you see. Um, now, this, so what's happened with this character is he is looking for pen pals. And it's, there's, it's amazing the number of people in prison that are looking for pen pals. This guy is looking for pen pals so he can get his story out. He wants some, somebody that will convert his, uh, all of his paperwork that these prison inmates always seem to have into a disc. So then he can start asking people on the outside to tell his story. Well, uh, un unfortunately, his story is that he's a stone-cold killer that has gone through a jury trial. A jury trial listened to all the evidence, and they made the decision. First of all, he was guilty of killing two people. And second of all, he ought to be uh, executed. Well, he was scheduled to be executed in the year 2007, and thanks to our never-ending appeal process for these characters on death row, um, it was put off. And here we are, 2013, some uh, six years later, and he's still going through this process. So, um, that's where that is, and so... The, the, the story that you mentioned was about this looking for love from the prison. And that's kind of what these folks are doing. And uh, In Kentucky, they're not allowed to get on the Internet. 
No, some, no. Some states they are. Kentucky. I don't know that that's right. But well, well, you mean you don't know <coughs> that they're not allowed? I don't know that they are allowed. Yeah, in Kentucky they're not. Uh, yeah. I know that. I can speak for Kentucky, but they have other ways, and this is how this guy is trying to do this: get someone else to do it for him. Um, and, and one of the biggest one story of the... out. There's not much of a story. You know, no. the, these two deputies, this this sheriff and deputy, didn't know this guy. They were serving a warrant from another state. Ohio. They never even saw Ralph Bays. Ralph Bays waited from a distance and ambushed them mm -hmm. with with this assault rifle there in Powell County. So, you know, there, there was no, there's not a whole lot of story there except he decided to to kill two people, two law enforcement officers. A jury sentenced him to death, uh, and he's still here. And it's twenty. I mean, that that has been it's at tw least almost twenty, 20 years. almost twenty years. Yeah, it's been forever ago mm -hmm. that, that that this occurred, and the family. You know, remember this appellate process, and every time that something new pops up, the family of uh, of these uh, this sheriff and, and this deputy has to go through this all over again. That's, you know, it never well, that's the whole victim issue. Oh, anyway, what um, else you got? Well, I want to um, I want to announce that the, we got the the annual Victims Rights Week uh, event coming up on April the twenty fourth. It's our uh, second class citizen luncheon. We have this every year, and what's the point of a second-class citizen luncheon? Well, that's just the way that uh, uh, we think the criminal justice system treats crime victims. And what, what are you serving this year? Well, you got to understand that because it's because victims are treated like second-class citizens in the uh, criminal justice system, we're going to continue that theme and give them a good old second-class lunch. Meaning, they get a hot dog, uh, some chips, uh, a cookie, and some Kmart drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big that's K. it. It's a big K. Tune into the following station to hear the full episode.